Got a pretty big release. Some would say it's colossal. <laughs> it's Avengers Infinity. We're a little late to the party. We've seen a couple unboxings out in the world. Figures.com's done one. Uh, Scott's com done his. Scott's done his. Comicbook.com's done one. But what are we going to do that's different? Same thing we do whenever we're late all the time. We're going to do seal practice. Let's get you guys all ready for the sealed uh, sealed release events. I think the upcoming Canadian Nationals is bound to be running this set. Yep. Uh, US along Nationals with US probably. Nationals is probably going to be running this set as well for sealed. So you get some of our ideas from this. We're going to open our two packs each at a time. Uh, and so it'll be Amber's going to do two packs, I'm going to do two packs, and then Amber's going to do another two packs, and I'm going to do another two packs, and then we're going to team build the last two packs of figures. So we'll start as we do <laughs> by throwing one of them across the room. Uh, we're going to start with our, geez Louise, it looks like we're opening super boosters here. They're massive. Oh. I love it. They um, are the size of my head. They're going to, we're going to crack them open. We're going to tell everybody what's inside of our packs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward through us building and making fun of each other while we build. Then we're going to show our packs under the camera and explain our thought process on why we came up with what we did for Sealed. So, actually, you know what, we'll just, we'll go in deep description on what we got under the camera. In the meantime, we'll just fast forward through this part. Alright. Oh, they're so big! <laughs> I got a car. You got a car? I got a car. <laughs> look at the whoosh. Look at the whoosh. The, look at the whoosh? Yes. <laughs> That's the part I'm You have to slow down for that part. <laughs> Alrighty, so Jason behind the camera, and we're gonna talk about my packs. My first pack that I opened, I don't know if you saw me goofing around with it or if I just that camera, but we got Lord uh, Lord Order and Master Chaos. So we already got, sorry, Lord Chaos and Master Order. Uh, already got a good start with our super rare collection, um, as he is one of the super rare colossals. Uh, neat collection piece. Also got herself uh, the Vision, uh, the She Hulk, She Hulk. Uh, Pip the Troll, and Mantis. Uh, we'll give you guys a rough look at the cards here. Uh, She-Hulk is a close combat expert uh, with some extra little bits there. You get a little chance to read it. Uh, with a slightly short dial, comes in at 50 points. More lawyer mode than fierce combatant mode, as it were. Uh, right, we have Pip the Troll. It's a bit of a carrier. Uh, and a little bit of a sneaky sneak. Uh, we got Mantis, who is what we like to call a close combat small thing. Uh, she's like, she's got, I think, plus one attack, plus one defense if you're not on a Guardians of the Galaxy themed team, which means technically she's got like one plus one attack, plus one defense uh, for sealed, if you consider it correctly. Uh, Vision is what Vision does, is he's tough to hit, uh, or rather keep down, he comes in at 100. Uh, and Lord Cast and Master Order is a really weird one. Um, just take a look at this. I'll go over it in the piece by piece. Uh, ultimately, my final build, nothing from this pack came in. Lord, Don't get me wrong, Lord Chaos and Master Order are neat O, but I don't think they were really choices for my sealed. I'm happy to have them, but not too pumped to throw them on my sealed team. My second pack, on the other hand... Uh, actually consisted of my sealed team. This is a weird thing. It's been a while since we've had something like this where basically your pack becomes one pack builds most of your team. Um, you get more options in sealed as a result, more possibilities for new teams, uh, but you also get smaller teams as a result in some cases. So if you take a look at this, oh, oh no, Black Panthers. Oh, I'm a terrible subject. My lord, <laughs> my lord Panther, I apologize. Uh, looked like there was a little bit of a gluing issue on that Black Panther. This is the uncommon one. Black Panther 2099. All right, that seems to have stuck. All right, so in here we got we got a Hulk, uh, Colossal Hulk. Very cool uh, character. He ended up making the cut, and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, we've got Starshine, who also made the cut, one of the uh, 
one of the uh, Avengers Infinity characters, or sorry, the Space Knights, Space Knights, uh, who are part of the set. Uh, we got Black Panther 2099, who's packing that new wild card symbol. Uh, pretty neato. He actually wears a cape. I apologize that I've knocked off the cape somehow. Uh, I'll figure out what's up there. But it's a, that's going to be an easy glue fix. I could probably fix it on camera. Uh, we have Hawkeye in a 50 points. Origin mode. Very similar with the plus one attack, plus one defense. If he happens to not be on an Avengers theme team. Which, neato. I would probably... He's a very good option for a lot of teams. Uh, to be brutally honest. And we got another Panther Troll. Uh, so... At first glance, I kind of wanted to use Master Castle order, but I went to the pre-release and I had a lot of success with this Hulk. Uh, his defense value is this Hulk. Uh, I'm going to show him to you. He's very, very defensive soft as he's not been by soft. I mean, he's easy enough to hit. There's a lot of damage coming out of the set, but he's got two stop clicks along the dial, the last of which comes with an 11 attack and five damage with steel energy. So you can probably be popping in and out of that click very easily. Uh, he's got charge plus the first two clicks. He's got super strength and Quake combo power, uh, the mass destruction power. He's also tricky to outwit or perplex, where if you try to perplex or outwit him uh, as an opposing character, uh, if he rolls a 4, 5, or 6, you don't. <laughs> or rather, instead you don't. He's also traded with Battle Fury and gets extra stats if the target that he's targeting can use Shape Change, Super Senses, or Stealth. Uh, he gets extra damage, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, but the, the other thing is a full movement Quake with a colossal... Giant Reach, that's a Giant Reach of 3, with off the top 2 clicks here, he's got 11 attack with 4 damage, there's a lot of potential that comes with knockback on that, that ignores shape change that I just love, and he can't be mind controlled, so if you come across other Master Order, Colored Chaos guys, um, they're kind of nerfed. Alright, next up we have Starshine. I'm going to use on my team with the Traded Toughness. She's also got a special defense that's not going to factor in, per se. Uh, but she also comes with some hypersonic, 11 attacks, precision strike, 4 damage with, uh, with shape change, and she's indomitable. One thing you're going to note is indomitable is going to be very important when you're building teams in this set because you're going to find your teams, unlike Avengers Defenders War and other recent sets, your teams are a lot smaller, therefore you need to maximize the number of actions you can take in a row. Now, the last two figures has a little iffy on uh, Hawkeye gets extra stats because this is not an Avengers theme team. And Black Panther is, well, just a pretty well-rounded dial altogether uh, with traded shape change. Leap, and he's also got leap climb side stealth and stealth on his uh, initial stat. Uh, and he's also got leadership. Unfortunately, that leadership isn't really going to help out the team that I have. So I'd probably lean more towards Hawkeye to add some range support uh, and some extra stats coming from the fact that this team is not what it... Uh, not the team that would not give him the stats. So he gets plus one extra attack and defense, and he's packing precision strike uh, with multiple targets. So I would probably go most likely with these three. Um, but, of course, we have a comment section. Feel free to leave your thoughts uh, below on how you would personally build the team. All right, but next up, let's see what Amber has to go on. All right, so my first booster um, came with the flying car. Look at the whoosh. <laughs> um, but it also seemed like a very like shield themey pack because it also came with uh, we have a shield agent, Iron Patriot, Tigra, and Black Widow. Um, do, 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 do cards. <laughs> uh, so the flying car, it's it's just it's a flying car. It does things, and then it can turn into. Uh, special terrain if it dies, basically. Uh, it has a stop click. When it's revealed, you KO it, and then it turns into special terrain. Can you also play it as special terrain on its own? Um, Ch if chicken point value is good. Yeah, for five points. Yeah. And then, then, then it has all its rules for being a vehicle and for being special terrain. Um, when it's special terrain, each time I click, uh, with this power is revealed, roll a d6. If the result is greater than the display number, destroy the special terrain and deal three damage to all characters within two squares and line of fire. Um, yeah, so it does things as special terrain, and then it's kind of just, I don't know, it does things as a, as a vehicle. It's, it's a car, man. <laughs> it's, it's just a car. It's room de vroom. <laughs> vroom de vroom. Uh, so, then, uh, so this came with Iron Patriot. Uh, it's Force Blast Defend, and when an adjacent friendly character is hit by an attack, 
that did not also hit Iron Patriot once per game. She may become the target of the attack instead. That actually threw me off. I'm not familiar with this version of Iron Patriot. It is Tony Howe um, from the, uh, I guess, what is that? What was the Hydra invasion thing that they called? Uh, I don't know. It, it, it was a recent one with yeah. the Cap Hydra thing, right? Yeah, um, I just don't remember what Secret the Empire? Yes, Secret Empire. So she's from Secret Empire. Um, she had a running shot in Cap, uh, Invinc- or, um, yeah, Invincible, Perplexed, and Late Dial Outwit. Uh, pretty, pretty good stats there. We got Tigra, uh, Avengers Infinity. When Tigra attacks, only characters of 100 points or more, you may choose to modify attack or damage by plus one. Uh, which in this sealed set is very possible to happen. <laughs> it, it's actually probably one of the more commonly triggered abilities in this set. Yeah. Uh, then she also has another trait, Leap Climb. When Tiger uses it after resolutions, roll a d6. If the result is equal or higher to uh, than the number of squares she moves, she may be given a close action at no cost. So as long as she doesn't move too far, uh, it's pretty easy to get a free action out of that. Uh, the Black Widow, I don't know where this costume came from. <laughs> I've never seen this costume before. It's before the Avengers. Uh, at the beginning of the game, if Black Widow is part of an Avengers theme team, she can use the Avengers team ability this game. Otherwise, she modifies attack by plus and defense by plus one. And then she has stealth. And uh, if she's the highest point character on your force, which she is only 50 points, so you're pretty much... In this set, she's not going to be the highest point figure on your force. Uh, she may not be targeted by non-adjacent opposing characters. Uh... There's her <laughs> very neon dial there. Whoa. Uh, and then the shield agent, he's got energy shield and passenger zero. So he can't carry anybody, but he flies. So that's why he's got passenger zero. And then he's got running shot, energy explosion, toughness for 40 points. Generic shield guy. In my second booster. Booster. I got a Hulk too. He's got a mustache. Merc Hulk. I just realized now looking at him under the camera, he's got a mustache. <laughs> uh, and then I got kind of like a cosmic-y theme for that booster as I got uh, an Ego Antibody, an Iron Man Star-Lord, and the Uncommon Moon Dragon. And they do things too. Oh, Star-Lord's right there. doop 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 boop get your life together. No. Uh, Star-Lord is origin before the Guardians. Uh, if he's part of a Guardians theme team, he has protected at wit. Otherwise, he modifies attack and defense by plus one. So a lot of this is a very common trait that you're seeing across this. And uh, he's got attack power, energy explosion, incapacitate, quake, and knockback. With all those stats. It's a pretty good dial for 75 points. Yeah. Considering uh, he's got plus one attack, plus one defense too. Yeah. And then we have Iron Man, and he's got the Avengers Affinity, where he gets plus one attack or damage if he's attacking someone 100 points or more. Then he's, his movement power is sidestep running shot, but only if no other character has been given a cost of action this turn, so you want to make sure that he's the one attacking first. I go first. And he only has that on his top dial anyways. Um, and then he gets some prob after that. Hee <laughs> prob. Ah, oh, I'm just going to throw cards. Um, <laughs> Dragon. Uh, just got mind control with two targets, and then when Moon Jagged is KO'd by an opponent's attack, choose a friendly character for the rest of the game. That character can use mind control, because <laughs> she's got the mind gem. Uh, and then her attack power is penetrating psychic blast. When Moon Dragon uses it after resolutions, give an action token to a hit character. Hmm. Pretty simple stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, and decent stats for 70 points. Starts with shape change, moves into perplex. And then we have the ego antibody, is traded plasticity. And it's 30 points. This is it. This is what they do. <laughs> That's all they do. Uh, and then we have the Red Hulk, who's mass destruction. He's traded super strength. And when Red Hulk is given a move action after resolutions, destroy all adjacent pieces of blocking terrain. Then he can use Quake at no cost. I do believe the other uh, Hulk has that as well. He's not as a trait, though. He has a special power and his attack power. Oh, okay. So this is just as a trait for him. It's just better. And then he's got a fantastically long 100-point dial. Um, yeah, it's just some, it's a decent looking Hulk. So, as for what I actually built as my team, 
Hulk. Got a Hulk. <laughs> uh, and then I actually managed to do an Avengers theme team by putting him together with the Iron Man and Iron Patriot for that 18 defense defend. Mm -hmm. And I decided to go with Tigra. Um, focus on Tigra. Thank you. Uh, I decided to go with Tigra over Black Widow. Both of them were in that slot where uh, Tigra is 45 points and Black Widow is 50 points. Um, now, why I decided to go with the two what Tigra over um, Black Widow, for Sealed, this trade is going to go off, at least in one of the games. You're going to have her up against somebody that's 100 points or more. It's just kind of how mm -hmm. this set works. Um, also, her leap climb gives her essentially a move and attack as long as she's not moving too far. And that leap climb ignores a lot of things on the map. Um, so that kind of just makes her an attacker right off the bat. She's got 18 defense at the top. Super senses can be annoying to get through. She's got blaze claws fangs across the whole dial. So you don't have to worry about her two damage. Um, whereas Black Widow, she's five points more. But because I'm actually building an Avengers theme team, her trait there isn't as beneficial to me. Like, just giving her the Avengers team ability isn't as good as if she was that. giving plus one attack or plus one de and plus one defense. Um, also, she has an activation click. Mm. Boo. Uh, like, it's nice to have Perplex there, but the fact that she has nothing else on that click other than her traded self, and then I'd have to push her into support and... I don't know, I... I favored having another attacker over having a support character, is basically where I went with that. Right. I guess we're onwards to pack two. Um, or pack two and three for each of us. Three and four? Packs three and four for each of Second us. Second sealed set. Stop it. <laughs> There's so much going on. All right. So first teams was pretty good. Uh, I really liked the way you built your team. I want to know how many points you had, though, because I would probably try to throw in the car for those last five points of special I terrain. I did have five points. You always throw in the car. I did. I always didn't throw in the even special think about that. I did have, because I decided to go with Tigra instead of Black Widow. I think I actually had 15 points left, to be honest. Yeah, so you make use of that. Anyway, let's see what we got in our next packs, and we'll uh, see you guys at the other side of the camera. In the meantime, we're just going to goof around a little bit and, uh, and see what happens here. So in pack number one, we've got a Moon Dragon, Moon Dragon to oh, let's just fix this focus issue. There we go. Moon Dragon, Star Lord, Black Widow, Firefall, and Tony Stark's card. Now we saw Black Widow in the last packs, and much like Amber, I'm not using her in mine. We saw Star Lord in Amber's packs uh, this time, and I'm not also once again not using her. Um, we have Moon. This Moon Dragon. Is this the one you saw already? No. Okay, this one has the Avengers Affinity trait, which we've seen a couple times already. Uh, also comes with Psychic Blast and Telekinesis. Uh, and this is a pretty reasonable dial with some Mind Control and Dowdable Flight. Can't argue with that. Very cool uh, common level figure. Uh, Tony Stark's car. It's a thing of beauty. It's got a lot of stuff going on for it. Uh, really effective if you're using an Iron Man or a Tony Stark driving it. If I had the Iron Man, I'd probably be using it in this, to be brutally honest. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Get a good look at it. All right. Uh, also in this pack was Firefall, another one of the Space Knights. This is the A dial. Uh, they all have this, like, defense bar that gives them plus one defense when they're next to Space Knights, which is cool. But Firefall didn't make the cut either. Uh, and then we have Black Panther also in this pack. With his cape on. With his cape on. So this is kind of what he looks like. The cape stayed on. My big meat claw hands didn't get in the way of it. Uh, this one, slightly different uh, from the other one. Uh, he's got stealth as a trait, and when he KOs a character, he can use charge as a free this turn. 
which is a neat thing, and he ignores hindering and elevated for movement. So if you can pull that off, that's super potent. Um, but once again, the other packs seem to yield my team. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with uh, what was in the pack. Uh, my Colossal this time around was Jakar, who I've... I pulled in the pre-release and ran pretty well for me. Uh, he's one of the few Colossal Retaliators. I thought it was going to be a lot more Colossal Retaliators and sent, weren't as many as there were, but ultimately, he's a Colossal Retaliator with multiple different dials. He adds to Betrock's Brigade uh, <laughs> uh, and is generally a neato character. Uh, I got a Gamora who is traded with probability control and then she passes it off to somebody else when she dies. She's got a special attack power, gives her precision strike and super strength on her first two clicks. She's 65 points for five clicks. Uh, also, got Russian Cosmo, not dog, Cosmo. <laughs> uh, he's got the origin trait for Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and then he's got a special movement power, mind control, when he uses it to target more than one character, modify his attack by plus one, which you know comes with a two, two targets. Also worth noting in Sealed, you're not likely to get that Guardians of the Galaxy um, trait. So that's plus one attack for not being on that theme team and another plus one attack for targeting more than one guy. Good puppy. <laughs> He's also got a special a damage power. You have loud brain. Free. Choose an opposing character within range. Until your next turn, that character can't be given power actions. You don't realize how important power actions are to have until you've lost them. Uh, he also ignores hindering for line of fire. 70 points, 5 click dial on the puppy. Fused. All right, next up, Kismet. Uncommon. 140 points with power cosmic team ability with some hypersonic 11 attack 3 damage. Um, she's got a special trait. Fathers, why did they create me? Power. Create an enclave scientist bystander. Kismet may only activate uh, this a maximum of 3 times each game. Uh, and they're basically out with, with energy shield and three range. Though, what is this other thing that's really powerful on there? Well, late on her dial, she gets this movement power, the last two clicks. Fathers, now we can travel the stars together. Power, remove all of Kismet's Enclave scientists from the game, then generate uh, cosmic Enclave bystanders in their squares. And those, running shot, psychic blast, 18 defense with three damage with uh, power cosmic and outwit. <laughs> they're neat. I don't know how likely they are to get it, but mostly Kismet's just a fat body uh, to bulk up my team. So what I came up with with my team is started with Kismet, um, adding up to three outwitters, and a team can go a long way. Uh, I went with Cosmo, dog, mind control dog, um, because, you know, for what he is, he's also got outwit uh, and upwards of 11 to 12 attack to go with the dog, uh, and then he's got that power ability in his middle two clicks. Then he ends with some charge that's going to have a 13 attack. Angry puppy. Bite. Dog bite. Me, I would have gone for throat, but then I am a dog. Uh, and then I went with Gamora, because one of the most powerful abilities to have in sealed play is probability control, and wrapped it all off. The last 25 points I had with Jakar, with Colossal Retaliation, even though my team can't take a hit as hard as most, uh, his Colossal Retaliation goes a long way, plus there's bound to be other Colossals on the board, and he does have a 10 attack with 7 range and 2 damage on his uh, on his Colossal Retaliation dial with 19 defense as well. He might be able to take a couple pot shots at other Colossals that are out there. So, that's my thoughts. Amber, on to you, hun. It's my first pack. Had a dino in it. Uh, this is a uh, Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl. Um, I'll put that over there. And then in that pack, also had. Let's see. Uh, so we have the Iron Man. Got it. Iron Man that we saw previously. And an anti vision. He's not vision, he's, he's anti vision. Jack of Hearts. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then the Moon Dragon that Jason just pulled. And they do things. Mm -hmm. They do all the things. Uh, so Antivision here. Uh, not the Avenger you know. Shape change stealth. When Antivision hits a character with the Avenger's keyword after resolutions, give that character an action token. Uh, this is kind of just a in cap against Avengers, which there are a fair amount of Avengers in this set uh, in mm -hmm. sealed. And then he's got a flip flopping dial between close combat and range combat. 
And we already looked at the Iron Man. We already looked at the Moon Dragon. Jack of Hearts has the Avengers Affinity trait. And then he has an attack ability that's Pulse Wave. When he uses it after resolutions, you may place him adjacent to a hit character. It's a zero fluid explosion. And Sorry, I'm still talking like Cosmo. The first, uh, first three clicks there with running shot. And then he goes um, into penetrating psychic glass. Gotta get those points in the frame. Oh, sorry, 75 <laughs> points. Uh, then we have Double Dinosaur and a Moon Girl. And they have a free trait here that's turned Double Dinosaur and Moon Girl to the same click number of a different color. Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl can't be healed above their starting line, starting click numbers on either dial. Um, so if you notice, they have two separate dials. Uh, this is set up a lot like the Power Man and Iron Fist were where you're flipping between the two different characters. So you're either playing basically as Double Dinosaur or as Moon Girl. And it'd be, you just, it's a free action to flip between them. Uh, and then they also have an attack power that's range value five, incapacitate as free, but only to make a for range attack. And that is only on, I believe that is the Moon Girl yep. dial. Uh, so that was that pack. And my second pack, I got the stranger. Oh, it's a stranger thing. He's so big. Like, they're so big, they can't even fit in the frame. Well, they can't <laughs> push back. Well, there you go. Mm, I gotta go so far back. So Refocus. far back. Uh, and then move these figures. Pull these figures up. Beep, beep. So we got Hawkeye. We already saw that Hawkeye. Kinsbet. We just saw that with Jason's characters. And a rocket, a pre Guardians rocket. There. And then we have Nick Fury. This is Nick Fury Jr. He doesn't say Jr. there, but it is Nick Fury Jr., as you can see in the spacesuit there, looking like Samuel L. Jackson. And they do things too. I hope so. <laughs> so uh, the Nick Fury there, he uh, he has an attack power, it's penetrating psychic blast. When Nick Fury damages an opposing character after resolutions, remove an action token from him. It's pretty solid. Uh, he has a damage power that's leadership, and when he uses it and succeeds, instead of removing an action token from each friendly character with the shield keyword within four squares. It's a really like good trait, better in constructed than sealed. Unless you had that first set of packs. Yeah, right? that's true. My my first pack was just like, actually only the shield character was shield out of that. Huh. Yeah, everybody else was. Even the Avengers. shield flying car. Sorry, the shield flying car <laughs> and the shield uh, <laughs> agent. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. So he's got some top dial running shot, moving into the side step with uh, his attack power. There, there's the penetrating psychic blast. Uh, Hawkeye, we saw rocket. Uh, he has the uh, origin before, before Guardians trait, and that's pretty much all he's doing. And that's, that's special just, anyway. That's his dial there. He's got charge, blaze cross fangs, leadership for 60 points. And then late dial, sidestep, and uh, willpower with some ranged combat expert. Go Rocket. Uh, we have this the Stranger. He has a trait, and this trait is only for when he's 100 points, and that's he can't use the Power Cosmic Team ability. So when he's on his higher point dials, 250 and 400, he can use it. Uh, Loris point dial, 100 points, can't use Power Cosmic. Um, and then he has another trait. Once per turn, you may modify a friendly character's range by plus three when it uses Outwit, Perplex, and Probability Control. Note that that character has to already be using, be able to use that power. <laughs> it's just he'll make their range bigger. Um, and then when he's KO'd, this effect is still uh, in place, and it will be there until the end of the game. Uh, then his final trait is he can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. And he has movement power at the beginning of your turn. Choose two standard powers that opponent characters can use that you didn't choose last turn. Stranger can use his powers until your next, next turn. turn. So he's kind of a light pick a power there. Um, it is dependent on what your opponents can use, and you can't use the same powers twice in a row, uh, but it's pretty solid for 100 points there at the end of the dial, or even the bigger points where you have Power Cosmic and you have a wit or a prob. Uh, Kismet, we saw. Okay, so those are the characters. Now, I got really frustrated building this team, and I was like, all right, I got a bunch of 75-point characters. Let's put some 75-point characters together. 
Let's, let's just do that. That's just, just the thing. That's just how I'm going to build this team. Um, I, guys, I'm not even joking. This is honestly how I built my team. Um, I can see the frustration in her face. It was pretty, pretty gnarly. So this team ended up being the Nick Fury Jr., Jack of Hearts, Devil Dinosaur, and Moon Girl, and then Moon Dragon. She's not 75 points. She's 60 points. But I do like the penetrating psychic blast in TK. Um, and the fact that she may get the, uh, she's probably going to get the plus one attack and damage. She does get the so. plus one attack because it's not an Avengers team. No, no, no. This is the if she's attacking oh, yeah, characters sorry. that are Oh, yeah. She's getting that. So, yeah, I, uh, as much as I was just like, hey, well, who's 75 points? Let's throw this all together. Um, these are all pretty solid attackers when it comes down to it. Most of them are ranged. We got Mind Control off of Moon Dragon. She can target more than one character with that. Nope, that's the other Moon Dragon. Sorry, that's the other Moon Dragon. She's still got Mind Control. Uh, then we have the flip-flopping of the Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl, and that's going to start here on click five. Uh, then we have our running shot... Running Shot uh, Pulse Wave guy and Jack of Hearts here. And then we've got a little bit of leadership here with Running Shot from Nick Fury Jr. So when it comes down to it, even though I kind of just threw this all together, they do have all pretty solid stats. And it's a pretty decent team compared to just, you know, throwing things together for sealed. <laughs> all right. We're down to the last two packs. Last two packs. So this is the one we're going to build by committee. Uh, so you get to blame both of us if our teams turn out pretty, pretty gnarly or you, our advice turns out to be pretty useless. Um, so I guess we should get started, get, get on fast forward mode and see what we got. All right. All right, this is nonsense. Check this out. <laughs> so the pack that I opened had uh, Nebula on Thanos' throne here. Thanos' throne. Thanos' throne. Uh, we have the tiger that we've seen before. Tiger, tiger. Yep. Tiger. Uh, ego antibody. Now, this is her, not Kismet. So we got uh, her, you said. We got her. We got her. And then we got... Terminator here. He is a space knight. Now, he is technically a prime. It's prime rarity, but it is a unique character. Yeah. So it's going to follow the unique rules, not the prime rules, but this is what they wanted to do with, uh, instead of having primes in this set, was have these special unique guys that had prime rarity, and they all work together. All right. So the pack I opened, because apparently we opened separate packs, we started with a Kronos. Look at him. Look at he lifts. He's so pretty. He lifts. He's so pretty. <laughs> uh, we got the Venom Space Knight. <laughs> um, we got the Rare Nova. Uh, we got Black Widow. I mean, how many of these have we, have we talked about already today? <laughs> I think I would think there was one in each bag. I also got her. <laughs> All right. So here's how this ended up happening. First, we're going to take a look at so the. Venom here, alien symbiote, plasticity, shape change, breaks away automatically. So basic symbiote stuff. Ignores elevated and hindering for movement. Ton of keywords. Uh, reasonable dial for 125 points, and is also a wild card with five range, two targets, and a dominal. Uh, the Nova is a new one. Share through the world mind. Friendly characters with Nova core keyword have protected at wit. When Nova moves at least six squares, he can use energy shield until your next turn. He's got charge. He uses it. He can move. We must. Uh, you may choose that he must move in a direct path. Breaks through blocking, ignores characters, uh, and after resolutions, you can use Quake at no cost. Uh, so charge, attack, and then Quake. Pretty cool. Uh, Nito, 150-point character with the Avengers team ability. We've seen the Black Widow. Uh, Kronos, Cosmic Kennedy, can't kill the Abstract, where uh, his, he's got a, a neat little thing where once per turn, when a friendly character misses all targets of an attack and misses by w at least one, 
sorry, it misses at least one by exactly one, you may re-roll the attack roll. When Kronos is KO'd, this effect continues for the rest of the game. So he, this basically that effect exists at all times. Uh, he's playable at 400, 250, 125, and 60 points he has like there's a lot of blue on that damage <laughs> across the board he's also power cosmic so pretty neato and then we have her who is uh she's got special damage power uh support when she uses it increase the amount of healing by one if the target has no action tokens but then if you actually look at the dial six range running shot uh with psychic blast and probability control herself at 90 points i'm not sure if you caught what we're planning on doing here but it is pure nonsense. Uh, Amber, you want to take over for the characters that we haven't seen on your stuff? Uh, yeah, so this is the Terminator here. He is toughness, uh, invulnerability, but only when he's targeted by a range attack. Then he has a defense power that when he's adjacent to one or more friendly characters with this base knight keyword, modify defense by plus one. Um, and then his damage power here. Uh, it is leadership, and then once per turn, when a friendly character hits an opposing character with an attack, after resolutions, you may roll a d6. On a 5 to 6, remove an action token from that character, and on a 3 to 4, remove an action token from that character if it has the Space Knights keyword. So he has uh, kind of super duper leadership there. He's got leadership um, on leadership. Leadership on top of leadership on top of leadership for Space Knights. <laughs> All right, uh, and then. Oh, uh, and there it says. There's the style. And then the other one of Nebula mine that we have not so seen so. yet yeah. is oh, Nebula here. And uh, when she is KO'd, choose a friendly character for the rest of the game. That character can use willpower and modifies its combat values by plus one. And then her other trait is Nebula can't be targeted. Can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. Cosmic Entity trait, we've seen that in other yeah. figures. Uh, and then her attack power, Barrier Incapacity, and then Free, place a blocking terrain marker adjacent to any number of opposing characters within range and line of fire of that... Uh, line of fire, sorry, that have one action token at the beginning of your next turn, remove that marker. Uh, and then her damage power here is perplex, and when she uses it, she may also modify the same combat value on either a friend, all friendly, or all opposing characters. And then here's her big, big dial here, where a uh, lot of difference between her point values here, either 400, 300, or 125, they're all kind of different power sets. Yeah, completely so. different functionality depending on the version of her you use. All right, so I'm not sure if you caught it, but in our pack, we have a total of three characters with probability control. Um, that was Kronos and her and also her. Uh, so what we decided on for our team was we're going to play Kronos at 60 points because he's got probability control, plus he's got that ability to reroll. So if we miss, and then we miss again but only barely miss, or if we miss barely, if we barely miss the first time and then we try again... Uh, or then we can miss. We can prop still. Uh, I will tell you, I pulled him in pre-release. I played him, and I activated that power in every single game. <laughs> <laughs> we said to double up on hers because why not? Uh, you know, three probs is better than no oh, probs. Oh. Amber, you're just killing me here because you're focusing on Nebula. So why get Nebula out of the frame. Nebula, not Kronos. Nebula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for one, we had double running shot, psychic blast, both with power cosmic, both with probability control, so they're very likely to hit when they do hit, and they'll it'll probably stick. Back that up with the Terminator, who's got his leadership, and his leadership uh, is also attached to a character with the cosmic keyword. All four of our characters in this team have the cosmic keyword, therefore it is a four-figure cosmic theme team with... Three characters with prob, four possible rollouts depending on the end roll. Uh, with leadership, the ability to take four actions in a single turn. And then if each attack hits, you can possibly remove an action token on those hits. It's fantastic. Yeah, I, if I was playing, if I had to play sealed qualifiers for nationals, this is what I'd want to pull. Oh, God, <laughs> because, it's fantastic. And it's, you know, we do have a rare prime which kind of ties the room together. But ultimately, uh, this... This is the main beef of the force is the two hers and the Kronos. That her common. Her is common. Oh my gosh, yes. So that's our first little look into some sealed play for 
for Infinity. Uh, so far, it's been a very interesting set. I haven't opened a pack and gone, you know, oh my gosh, I didn't want to see this. I'm very, very excited to see what we can do with this. Um, Even, like, the one set of packs where I was like, I'm so frustrated trying to build this team. Just give me every character for 75 points. That was still a valid team that I ended up building doing that. Yeah. Uh, for those of you interested in the rarity distribution, it looks like we've got two standard figure super rares plus a super rare colossal. Am I reading that right? Because uh, we got Cosmo, Starshine. Yeah, I don't think I. And then we got Lord Rares Order, Master Chaos. Plus we got our prime our rarity prime. Uh, character. So distribution is pretty standard. Um, so what we're gonna do now is for our patrons, those of you who support us on Patreon, we're going to do a second run of all of these packs, but different people are going to build them. It's probably going to be a shorter video, very quick, very snappy, especially in some of the cases where the teams kind of rebuild themselves. Um, I've got all my stuff still out, and Amber's making me dig through, through the boxes again uh, because she's a big meanie pants. <laughs> um, but we do want to extend a special thank you to WizKids who provided us with this brick of infinity. It was in... Infinity greatness. I don't know. I tried it very hard. I, we do appreciate your support uh, and our chance to get an early look at these figures for you guys. Uh, check us out tomorrow as I'll take what we have here plus what we pulled in our pre-release, uh, and we'll go figure by figure and talk about what we think is good, what we uh, and what we think is going to make it into casual play, what's going to make it into competitive play. Uh, so once again, thank you, WizKids. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the patron. Uh, but it's only video of this, uh, and have, have a good one, guys. Bye. Later. Bye. To infinity! And beyond.